The psalmist said, we see not our signs. That is the state of the average believer. He doesn't see his signs. He's blind to his signs. He's blind to the move of God. He's blind to the things that he needs to see that will give him an insight into the fact that God has begun to act on it. Before the Holy Ghost came down on the day of Pentecost, God made noise first. And the Bible says that there was a sound like a rushing mighty wind. Before the rain came in the days of Elijah, he heard the sound. There was a sound that God made. It was the sound of an abundance of rain. That sound preceded the physical rain. But that sound was not audible. It was littered on the floor of the spirit realm. And only them that have ears to hear could hear. So signs can either be physical or spiritual. But a watchman must have what it takes to read them. Night. we want to overcome this scripture the situation that this scripture is talking about where we see not our signs it's a state of darkness this is what wearies an intercessor when he doesn't have sight doesn't have perception he cannot read anything at all he believes that his prayer is a futility I've met many strong intercessors in this situation and they are wicked they are discouraged but they were not trained to read the signs when you begin to shake the spirit realm with your prayers signs begin to pop out they begin to pop out and wise men can read them and they draw encouragement from the things that they see from the things that they perceive from the things that they understand you think nothing has changed you lie you see not your sign can we pray today and say God deliver us from the blindness of our signs oh, oh, oh. this year God will move and we will move his hand we will compel his hand to do wonders but each and every member each and every one of the sons of the prophets must know how to read signs in the spirit I come siko bre la kambasuka menatia. Isko falai to meli te temo kombe. Robena si abande kobelas. I've seen many intercessors so frustrated, so frustrated because we see not our side. Many there be that pray for Nigeria and they say they don't know what to pray again. That's how Satan frustrates the intercessor when he cannot read the signs his spirit becomes weary his soul becomes famine give us the grace to look upon the signs that are littered in the natural and in the spirit